Okay, today's project is going to be a 20 meter full size rotatable dipole. Uh, the prices of these antennas, uh, factory antennas, have just gotten outrageous, and you can actually build antennas a lot cheaper than you can buy them. I think these days, at least we're going to we're going to try to anyway, and probably better too. Uh, I'll put a list of the prices and uh, all that stuff at the end of this video of all the stuff I've used. It's not a very expensive project. I think it's way less than 150 bucks, and. Uh, I think it'll rival or even best a lot of these commercially available antennas for sure. Uh, simple hand tools to, uh, to build. It's very, very easy. Um, I'm talking like I've done it. I've never done it, but uh, you know, there's nothing to them anyway. So let's just go over a brief, uh, uh, I'll show you what all the stuff we're gonna be using is. So first up is we've got a box of uh, tubing from Texas Towers. They're all six foot links. We've got uh, some three-quarter tubing, five-eighths, half, and three-eighths, and uh, two of each. May not use it all, but that's what we have to start with. We're gonna need a length of five-eighths um, fiberglass rod. This will go inside the three-quarter inch rod. It's kind of an insulator between the, the two halves of the element. Uh, you will need it because uh, it adds rigidity to this and keeps your your elements from drooping when you mount them over here. But anyway, this is a five, five foot length of rod. Um, we're only gonna use about 10 inches, basically as wide as this. And uh, so you can make about six antennas out of one rod, it, assuming you're using three quarter inch. Me, but uh, this is the main piece. This mounts like this. Your mast will go through here and your elements will mount either side of here with a pigtail going to the radio here. Uh, this is an eBay piece, uh, Triple S solution on eBay, Z Repic K2 Triple S. Nice piece. Could you make one? Yes. Could you do it cheaper than you can buy it? Uh, it's be close. By the time you've got all your tools out and all that stuff, you've deburred everything. I'll be honest, you're not going to save much. This is a quarter inch thick plate too. It's nice. I think I weighed it. weighs a little more than, weighs almost two pounds. Uh, so moving on to the mechanical hardware. Going to need a set of hose clamps, three quarter, five eighths, half for your elements. And then to attach your uh, pigtail, you're going to need some stainless hardware. Uh, screws are going to be, need to be long enough to go through three quarter inch tubing. So these are one inch. That'll leave us a quarter inch to work with where we can add our wing nuts to attach our lugs, which will be attached to this pigtail. The reason I left this long is I'm not sure if I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap a, uh, a 240 in there and just make a choke bound and built in. I have one over here, it's kind of heavy. I mean, it's not heavy, it's just, there's a 240 in here, but uh, you know, with, after you've got the enclosure and these connectors on here, it's got kind of heavy. I may just take it out of that box and then wrap it and just leave it you know open to the elements i don't think it'll hurt anything but that's our parts list for now uh, let's get started on this build okay it's about 10 inches right at that mark go ahead and cut that off our rod okay now we need to decide how we're gonna uh, configure the radials or the radial here um, I think I've about decided I'm going to just use one of the three-quarter sections as the center part and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to take this thing portable and if I make it six feet I can fit it in the truck easy rather than taking two three quarters and putting them on each side then you've got a 12 foot piece to contend with so we're going to use one three quarter piece and that'll be like that so 36 inches on each side and then we'll uh, stack the other radials in there to give us 196 inches that we need for 20 meters in fact here's the math right here 
So we got, we need 197 inches. We're gonna have 36, because we've got from here to here, that's 36 inches, so we can subtract that. So now all we need is 161 inches between the, the, the extra tubes over here. So 161 divided by three, that means we need uh, almost 54 inches uh, sticking out on each radial. So let me, let me put them in the tube here and let's, let's see what it looks like. Okay, we got the radials inserted. So we got a 36 inch on the quarter wave side. So we got 36 inches from here for the first section. And then you can see I've gone through and I've marked uh, each section at 54 inches. So we've inserted the difference in for the last three sections. So you've essentially got uh, all about 33 inches or 33 uh, feet of, of uh, element here. So it's pretty long, but uh, it worked good. It's not very heavy. It's actually pretty lightweight, a lot lighter than I would have thought. Like I said, the nice thing will be is I'll be able to take it apart and uh, you know, the radials will be six feet long and this will be six feet long. So it'll easily fit in the back of the truck like that rod. So next up is we're gonna split this and then we're gonna take this rod and we're gonna insert it just like that. And we'll leave a gap in between these, these two radials. Okay, now we got our two equal 36 inch sections. They've been cut in half. Now we're gonna take our rod one side. All right, we're gonna leave a slight gap. That's probably good right there. So what we're gonna do is drill a hole here and here to attach our pigtail to. Okay, I bought this earlier today. This is to help you drill. You know, it's really hard to get uh, to drill the center of a, of a rod. This is supposed to help. It's called a drill block. I don't have a drill press in V-Block, so this would be the next best thing. Uh, we're using number 10 hardware. So, 3 16th drill bit. We got that drill, we got the screws in there. You're gonna have a tough time beating that little centering device, that thing works good. Center section's complete. That worked real good. So now we've got to, we need to split this tubing. So we can get these to grab the next radio. Do that with a hacksaw. Okay, we got the, uh, the slits cut in the tubes. I uh, just did one on each side. See that, but uh, I don't know, it's may maybe back about an inch and a half. You wanna do both ends of this tube, of the three quarter inch tube, the center piece, and then one end of the rest of them except for uh, the 3 8 since there's nothing that slides in the 3 8 And it's done. Very simple. These hose clamps hold really well. So just line it up.
Here's the choke ballon I just made up. Like I said, I took it out of this box. I'm just gonna make it no housing. So that's it. Here's the end. Um, before I put this last piece of heat shrink on here, I filled that cavity with some of this uh, silicone. So that way, uh, you know, it waterproofs all this. And it is done. 33 feet long, huge. But it does work, I'll tell you that. First contact I made, right out of the hole. SWR looks good too, I'll show you in a second. I don't know if you can, <laughs> I don't know if the camera shows just how big it is, but it's, it's big. SWR, never even touched it. Highest SWR I could see on 20 meters was 1.4. I haven't even touched it yet. SWR here. I'm gonna turn the tuner off. Let's cycle it. All right. See right there. Not bad. We'll go to the top of the band. One point two. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I hadn't even made any adjustments to it. It's right out of the box. And I'm right here next to the house too. It's just a lot of interference right here. So it's working. God, it works good, actually. All right. Take it out tomorrow and give it a test run. <laughs>